What is the Essential Graphics Panel? Find out in this video. So if you're editing in Adobe Premiere Pro and your timeline, your workspace, it all looks like this, then it means you're set to editing mode. And you can actually change your workspaces inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, depending on what sort of activity you're doing in Premiere. Premiere has a selection of different workspaces that focus on different aspects of the editing process. So there's effects, editing, color grading, and loads more other examples. Now, Essential Graphics is a tab inside of a different workspace. You can't actually see it at the moment. It's not down here on the left. All we've got is effects. So if we go over into a different window, we'll find the Essential Graphics. So there's one of two ways of doing this. First, we can go into Window, Workspaces, and select one of these. Or alternatively, we can select a different workspace down here. So the Essential Graphics is in the Effects Workspace. So we'll select Effects, and that will flick us over into the Effects Workspace. Now, mine has loaded up Essential Graphics instantly on the right, and that's because I have used this before but I'll close this down and this is what it should look like by default. So we've got effects, essential graphics, essential sound, elementary, libraries, markers, history, and info. So this is a new tab that you haven't seen before. So essential graphics is what we're focusing on today. And essentially these are presets that you can use and edit right on your timeline. I have a lot of people asking me in the comment section on text videos, especially why Premiere doesn't have presets, but it actually does. And these are in the essential graphics panel. So if I'm just scrolling down here, if we hover over, we can see the animation giving us a quick preview. Now we've got lower thirds. We've got basic titles, we've got animations, we've got credits. There's all sorts in here, but I'm gonna use this like option. So if we right click or double click, we've got rename, info, copy to library, delete or sync missing fonts. Now I'm missing a font that this preset is using. So when I drag this in, I will get a warning. So we'll drag that onto our timeline. And as said, unable to connect to Adobe, missing fonts cannot be resolved at this time. That's because I'm not connected to the internet because I'm filming. But if you're connected to the internet, it will download the font that you need for this preset. But it has changed the font for me. And as you can see, if I play this from the beginning, you can see this is one of their presets. And if I click on the title, you can see I can turn off specific effects. So I can turn off the Gaussian blur. I can turn off the title, so that's a like. I can turn off the opacity animation and I can turn off this clip. So this circle animation effect happening. Moving down, I've got transform. So I've got position, move this to the left, move this up and down. I've got the anchor points here. I've got scale, rotation is here. And there's all sorts over here. Of course, I can control everything over here on the left in the normal panel. So as you would do in the effect controls, we can drop down this and you can see we've got position scale for all the different effects. And then of course, if we scroll down here, we've got video and this is the motion tab for absolutely everything. So essentially this motion tab is controlling all of those layers as a nested sequence. Now this preset is a classic credit preset. So this is going to add those credits at the bottom of your video. Now, as you can see, we've got our text here. So we've got text in association with partner. And if we wanted to edit something from that, then all we have to do is double click that and we can just type whatever we want. Hello, this is a title. There we go. And we can just come back out of that, deselect that layer. And if we zoom in to the video, you can see that I've amended that title there. So as it animates in, the new text that I've added is going to animate in as well. So essentially, Essential Graphics is a preset library and there's loads of different amazing text animations and text presets right in here. It's also a really easy way for you to build titles and create really awesome title animations. So there you go, that is the Essential Graphics tab inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. It's not necessary, you don't have to use it. It's not an important part of the process, but it can help you and it can help to create something awesome. So essential graphics. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate your support and I will see you on the next video. See you there.